introduce my wig too if you want to. All right, everybody. This is a brand new show, uh, brand new segment, different kind of spin that I'm doing on everything. It's going to be flippity flop every single week, probably just me by myself or me with a guest interviewing them and talking to them about like current events in the nerd world. So uh, <laughs> if you're watching this on video, you see you see my guest is having herself a good old time. I got the one and the only, the, the Black Girl Marvel. Black Girl Marvel, hey. welcome to FTO. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. See, I had to, I had to rep. The Captain I see Marvel. that. I think you, you had a rip like the Captain Marvel shirt. Like, uh, because you know. people, you know, disrespect this movie a lot. There are some points that people hit on that I'm like, you're right. Okay. But I think after a second viewing, this this movie is better after a second viewing. What are some of the points that I think are valid that people make? Um, like, like a little bit of the story, a little bit, like, um, a little bit of the story story it could have been a little tighter but to me it falls in line with the mcu's like origin stories you know it follows that basic like a b c d type of pattern like this happens and this happens and the person finds out and then they're the superhero like that's very uh yeah. very it's very formulaic so it's like that also no offense to brie because she's a good actress but i think sometimes direction is a factor and sometimes i feel like she wasn't directed maybe as tightly as she could have been or you know to and it, and there's for me personally i haven't heard anybody talk about this it's just me first because i look at weird things and i feel like everything makes up a character so i feel like um body language how you move like how you move your body and i just feel like okay they wanted her to be like like she went from a a, a pilot with all this emotion to a Cree warrior with all this emotion. Okay. But you wanted us to feel like she was two different people. And it was like, she ain't changed really. Like, only thing that changed is that she ain't got no memory of who she used, you know, who she used to be. Like, she she seems to always be this person. And I wanted a little bit different than emotion. Like, if she's supposed to be like this overly emotional, like warrior, I need the emotion to be more than just, I'm angry. So hold on a second. Uh, I'm, for those of us who haven't seen Captain Marvel, so like, like they're gonna yeah. be some spoilers in the conversation, but. Oh, sorry, spoiler. Uh, but uh, I haven't watched Captain Marvel, so I'm assuming Captain yeah. Marvel is an amnesia story. Yeah, it's an amnesia story. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't, no one, no one really talks about this this movie. No. Open story. They just talk about how much they don't like it. I, I never knew that Captain yeah. Marvel was a. So amnesia it's story. a it's an amnesia story. So I'm just going. I'm not going to like tell you plot points, even though I'm pretty sure you really don't care because I mean, you probably would have thought by now. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but essentially. Uh, we find her on uh, I can't remember the name where she where she lives, but um, she's there, and you find out that um, she's like half Cree, half human, and she has like these powers that like nobody can explain. And then you find out throughout the thing that like she used to be, you know, she was born on Earth, was a pilot, you know, got into an accident, an explosion happened, she absorbed. The powers of the tesseract like the space okay. stone and that's what gave her her abilities so it's pretty much like a, like an amnesia story but her finding herself because throughout it you can tell she's lost throughout it you can tell she you know she's 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 really sipping that that creed kool-aid you know propaganda you know and you see that throughout like she's a little smug but it seems like she's always been smug and mm. But that's just, but see, but that's my thing. Like they make it seem like all the traits she had as human. Okay, she lost her memory, but like those core traits still was a part of her, which still don't make sense. Because if you lost your memories, you would lose the memories that made you into like the person you kind of are. You know, they gave you those. Like right. I wake up at two o'clock in the morning, I do this, I do that, like type of thing. But she didn't. But I mean, me, me personally, I just wanted more. Uh, I just wanted more, like I guess actor wise, from it because the story itself is very formulaic. It's very nice, but like I just need a little more. Mm, but like, isn't, isn't like you said before that that is very formulaic. That's still that is very you know Marvel. Like they do have yeah. like a certain a certain trope that they follow, and yeah. So I'm assuming I'm hoping the Marvels or Captain Marvel two 
will expand on that story, you know, be a little bit better. Plus, Monica Rambeau is coming into that, and so I'm excited for her. And, and you know, you got Kamala, Kamala Khan with her TV show. Kamala Khan, for sure. But see, I, I, I'm signaling out, signaling out Monica because she was in WandaVision. And oh. so we've seen the trajectory, like we see her in Captain Marvel as a child. WandaVision, we see her as an adult. Mm. And then it shows how she gets her abilities. It shows how she comes to her own. And then now I get to, you know, see her, you know, plus she has issues with Captain Marvel and I'm, you know, I love the tea. <laughs> so That's I'm a, excited to see the issues she has. Since her. you say that and like, you know, the, what you're talking about, Monica Rambeau, otherwise known as the Spectrum, otherwise known as the original Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Um, we got to see her origin story through someone else's TV show. Does that yeah. does that bother you at all to see something like that? To see like you know a predominantly like you know powerful almost omega level character in the comics, giving her origin story through someone else's TV show? Does that bother you? Um, part of me is like yes, but then part of me is like no. I'm always on the fence about like with with African American characters or just black characters. I say black uh, right. black characters like the best way to go about representing us or putting us into things because like for the most part a lot of people don't know that Monica Rambeau is the original Captain Marvel people assume that it's Carol only because she's most popular right right even, so, even though her name was Miss Marvel before she exactly and, yeah ex- you know so it's like I think and I just gotta say Marvel y'all confusing because Kamala Khan will come out she Miss Marvel then it's like, like yeah, she's Miss Marvel yeah I know. you know y'all doing a lot That's a little quick whatever little quick. Uh, <laughs> you know it's, it's a lot <clears throat> But it's I'm always on the fence about it because I'm always like I'm just happy to see, you know, some black characters. I'm right. happy to see some black stories, especially if it's done right, which is why I'm a huge fan of like Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because you know people are always like take politics out of these movies, but these comics was was based in they politics. They were birthed based, on it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Superman like Superman was birthed because like two immigrants came like to America and wanted to create a you, character based off their religion. Like it's. It's exactly, X Men so, yeah. is all you all know about civil politics. rights and politics, and so it's like, so for me, I'm always like, like I said, I'm always on the fence about how you know how to bring in a black character where it is. Me right. personally, I felt like WandaVision was like a woman type of show because it was a female lead, it was a female supporting, and it's like two female supportings, you know, if you count Monica right. and like Agatha. So, um. I'm not mad at it because they made a strong character in the in the TV series. I think I would have been mad if you would have just had her as like a funny, you know, off the corner, like you're not really going to develop her type of thing. But since right. I know that you're developing her, this was a nice start. But somewhere along the line, I'm gonna need a solo film or a or solo TV show, yeah. or you know what I mean? Yeah. Like <clears throat> I'm gonna need them to get better in general, and not just like black characters. But like female characters, period, within the MCU, because I feel like there's a consensus that Black Widow should have been had a movie long before. She, not, by I, by Civil War, she probably should have had two. You know what I mean? If y'all wanted to put another movie in there, you, you gave Ant Man a movie before you gave Black Widow a movie. She was mm-hmm. around way before he was. So exactly. No like you would think, because we got the Core Six, the Core Six would have gotten all their own movies. And if you call it Spade a Spade, as much as I like Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. Oh. I wasn't sure about it. I was on. The, I was on the fence about it because I know I, I'm. I'm a fan of Mark Ruffalo. I like so I was like, I was like, I'm not sure. But I, I enjoyed what he brought. Mm. I think everybody was um, hooked up on Edward Norton because he was the best version of the character. He was really good. Yeah. Um, but I, I enjoy Mark Ruffalo. So essentially, he already had a film, but it just wasn't Mark Ruffalo because right. that was essentially the same character. They just they just went over. You know. So she should have been had a film. Like you shouldn't have waited. Like Marvel shouldn't have waited for DC to come out with Wonder Woman and be like, oh yeah, we uh, maybe we should come out with a Black Widow film. That might be good. Um, so it's kind of insulting when you think about it like that. Yeah. It's it's extremely insulting. Insulting because is she just there to be eye candy? Because if you go back to Iron Man two, that's all she was there for. Like they was the close ups was face and boobs. <laughs> and um, I'm glad they they stood but, away from. I'm glad that they stopped doing that in those films. Yeah, really here's the thing. <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna do that a lot. Like I ate some cheese. <laughs> okay, sorry. 
Um, <laughs> I'm a I'm a nerd. I ate some cheese and I shouldn't have. So um, <clears throat> all you all you have one of those days. Damn it. Yeah, I'm like I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have did it. You're good. Listen, I'm be doing all day drinking my water. Okay. <laughs> um, but cause cause my thing is I get it sometimes. Right, I get it. Like you know, um, might be like a booty shot. You know, it's like they walking past or, but I feel like if it was like that across the board for everybody because every now and again you get like a male shot you know but it's rare that they focus on males but or like their chest too much or anything like that and it don't pertain to the story like right. you know shang chi yeah he came out with his shirt off but he's literally about to fight somebody you know thor had his shirt off most of the time and like 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 it's one of those things where it's like okay he was it, I feel like it sometimes it, in the way it it was it it was like part of the story as opposed to sometimes well, I feel like with females never part of the story it's but y'all was like we need a butt shot right here because like, people miss you the camera down <laughs> mood all the way up until you see her face you know yeah. it's you know you know wardrobe doesn't quite go with the scene but hey if it's if it's low cut like who cares and you know dudes can just wear tight t-shirts and jeans and everybody's like Oh my it, god. It sounds like you're also kind of touched on the Hawkeye initiative also. And for those of you who don't know what the Hawkeye initiative is, it's uh, an initiative that happened on Tumblr where someone drew Hawkeye in poses that you see most women in in comic books. So mm-hmm. when, like when they're when they're scantily bent over, when they're wearing like like close to no clothing, when they're jumping in the air certain ways, you see Hawkeye in all those poses like that you would see most women in. It sounds like you're yeah. <clears throat> you're saying like this is very similar to that. Like this is very similar to what, what they did with Black Widow for a couple of movies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, having her pose like, you know, all in the camera and like, you know, things like that. And I get like Black Widow, I get it, <laughs> you know. Right. She's hot. Yeah. Exactly. You know, she's it's Scarlett Johansson, like she's beautiful. <laughs> I wasn't mad seeing her on screen myself. Like, <laughs> well, like there's a limit to everything. And but like, it's they, like, come they, on, it's like how yeah. much, how many, you know, how many times do we have to see her just do some weird, like, oh, titty in the air type of, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know just weird. Just is that, like, is okay. that what you say to yourself when you see those shots? Yeah, it'll air. Like, so uh, since we're talking about women and we're talking about superheroes, uh, mm-hmm. I know your name is Black Girl Marvel, but I really gotta yeah. know. Uh, we we got Naomi and we have yeah. we have yeah. uh, Black Woman out right now, like two uh-huh. top tier, one on mega mm-hmm. level, one taking over the mantle of a different Bat Woman, like uh, mm-hmm. with their own DC shows right now, yeah. and like. That one was doing pretty good, like ratings wise. Naomi just came out. What do you think about these shows? Or have um, you these shows? I haven't, I haven't seen Naomi yet. I seen the trailer and I was like intrigued. I was like, okay. Plus, it's like Ava DuVernay is back in it, so like yeah. I'm a fan of hers. Like black women supporting black women, I'm, I'm all for it. But again, I'm just the CW has a way of. Teenaging, I'm just gonna make up word. Teenaging these things, you know. Um, I feel like because my, I believe the core demographic of the CW is like 18 to 39, right? Right. So, but they skew more towards the 18 to mid 20s, right? And then forget about the rest of us. Like I literally grew up with the CW. Like I remember when it was just the WB, WB, and and before that was UPN, yeah. You know, WB UPN. So I was there at the birth of the CW, right? And I'm 35 years old, and you just had a TV show, Black Lightning, that was about core was Black people, Black issues. You know what I mean? Black family, like, almost say and not even that, like a Black smart family. Like it's like way overdue, mm-hmm. and it's and I feel like it's way overdue for like adult content, right? Like. I'm not saying it's and a lot of people think when I say adult people automatically think like raunchy or like sex and all that kind of stuff even though they love the CW love putting little kids in little sexual things and sexual scenes and acting like they adults and you'd be like ain't they ain't they like 15? You mean like One Tree Hill and Dawson Creek type stuff yeah. Yeah and I mind you mind you huge fan yeah huge fan of Dawson Creek because I grew up with it One Tree Hill grew up with it you know what I mean I still know scenes from it, you know, huge fan. But again, those are white led. There might have been one black person 
in One Tree Hill, no black people. And um, it was like it was black people in Dawson Creek, but they weren't core people. Like yeah. you know, so it's like I need the CW to do better on that. So seeing like Naomi, seeing Batwoman as a lead, like I don't watch Batwoman. Like I didn't watch it when it was KK. So like you know, discrimination on my part. Like I probably should watch it for the culture because she is black. And I believe her name is uh, Javicia. I was not always want to say Java could mess up her name, but um, Javicia. I like I follow her on like IG, and she's amazing, and she's yeah. like taking this, and she's taking this to heart, and she's like in the training, like she's in the thick of it, and I dig that. I'm I just didn't watch the show before, so I'm not gonna like pander and be like I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it now. Like, but is it pander? The show is still going. Like the show is still going. It's pretty hot. Like they got like they got a bat I mean, wing a part of the show now. I feel like they don't need me if it's going. It's great. <laughs> As it's going, I just I I just don't have a a need to watch it. Like I'm I, I'm actually fell off a lot of the shows. Like I don't I hardly watch the Flash. I haven't watched the Flash, which. I'm I'm meant to I'm going to because it's like an Armageddon thing. Well, I'm, see, I'm, but... gonna to, I'm gonna disagree with you about uh, the the not not needing you because they had the Black Lightning show on for about three to four seasons and it fell out. You know, like uh, four. more yeah, more they fans had me. wanted it. more fans wanted they, more of them and like uh, they had me. A lot of fans didn't show up for it. So if you guys aren't watching Batwoman, I recommend you guys watch Batwoman. If all you hey man, I, I hear the thing. It, I've recommended it I've recommended two, but also everybody got choice. <laughs> you know. No, I hear you. Um, I'm definitely going to check out Naomi. Like I said, I'm curious, but I have a, I just, I just feel like it's going to fall into that CW. But you're going to give it a shot? Trope. I'm going to always give stuff a shot. I always yeah. give stuff a shot for the most part. I always give stuff a shot. You got to set the um, rules to your shots? Um, I watch your pilot. If your pilot doesn't make me curious about the rest of the series, then I'm, I'm, I'm oh, out. Oh, wow. For the- One episode. Like, it's yeah. done. Yeah. Like it has to be, and I'm and I'm like I'm I'm not gonna say I'm easy because I'm not easy, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry, keep going. I would say like maybe I'm simple. I guess I'll say, um, basic if you will, maybe. Where because like even in the pilot, like the pilot doesn't because here's me, pilots nine times out of ten are shot months. Yeah. Oh, like before you even do the second episode. Sometimes so like, like head, just you know what I mean? Yeah. You know so. It's, it's a possibility that what I see in the pilot, by the time we get to the second episode, they didn't figure out the characters, they didn't figure out how they want to move, they didn't figure out right. all this type of stuff. That's why it's called a pilot, you know what I mean? So, I give you the pilot, but I always feel like if the pilot made it to TV, it gotta, it gotta give me something. You know what I'm saying? If the pilot made it to TV, a lot of pilots don't make it to TV. Well, some of them don't. Like, uh, the Aquaman pilot like, did not make it to TV. The Wonder didn't make it to TV. Did so, they were like, you know what? We're good on that. You have a good day. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just release it on the website. You we're know, like, we'll just, TV. we're not going to put that on TV. <laughs> He's going to get no ratings. He's going to waste his face, his money block. Like, we're not doing this. None. So, if your pilot makes it to TV, I will give it a go. Right on. And it could be something as small as, I like the outfit, or you said a funny line, and I was like, "That's intriguing." I'm gonna, I'm gonna like keep on, I'm gonna keep moving. Like, I'm not saying that from start to finish, the pilot has to like blow my mind and be like a cinematic genius, but something has to grab me. I do the same thing with books, you know. If I read a few, what about a few pages, what about is there, is, there, is there any Marvel TV shows you stop watching? Uh, what's that thing called? Modoc. Didn't watch that. So, oh, you didn't watch it. Didn't even touch it. Wow. What about Hitmonkey? You check that one out. I touched like the beginning. I was like, this isn't sitting right with me. So, mind you, for me, Marvel don't have a good track record when it comes to cartoons. They anyway, no. Like their cartoons are trash. And I love Marvel. Their cartoons are trash. Their <laughs> best cartoon to date. And I'm not even talking about like x-men animated series okay. like not spider-man Spider-Man. things like that like no. i'm not because to me that's like nostalgia childhood things gotcha. that we kind of grow also the animation style is just like way better but <laughs> when you look at like mightiest heroes avengers mightiest their, heroes, their yeah. cartoons was like very like kitty like even in the drawing what? like it was i didn't like it i didn't you like didn't it like so. mightiest heroes. no so wow. i i thought it was I like, like a for them to you yeah no i'm good um so, but I like what if I like the animation style of what if oh, I like the if. story. Yeah, well, what if I like the animation style? I like the story. I like um, the depiction. I like how it moves. Like sometimes for me, 
like the way you draw something can can inform a lot like i'm not a south park fan because that just looks trash also they joke's not funny to me like i feel like it just you also right have like, like an acquired taste it seems like too i'm like uh you, yeah. you you don't like a lot of things other people like, but like Marvel is where. No, I really weird. don't. Like it's weird. Like I'm like sometimes I'll be right into fandom, and then sometimes I'll be like, oh, no, this this didn't hit for me, and I'm not gonna act like it did just because. The, does that feel contrarian to you when like you don't want to join stuff, or like does it just feel like like this just isn't vibing with you? This, I don't really think it's contrarian. And it's just like it's not vibing with me. I'm never I never go into anything. I always go into any. I go into everything fresh. I will go into everything like not judging it based off of something else or not judging it based off what somebody else says always go into it with like a clear mind to be like i'm gonna be open to this experience and i get my feelings hurt sometimes you know? <laughs> i mean we all do I mean, you get your feelings hurt a lot when you when you put yourself out there into a nerd community like video tv content whatever yeah. it is yeah definitely but talking about tv and movies uh we got three productions of like uh the mcu and spacu and like that's Mobius, uh, mm-hmm. Doctor Strange two, and uh, I forget the last thing that's on that's that's halted right now. That's Morbius, sh- Doctor Strange two, and uh, you just said it, and I can't remember. I just, what you said I just it. said it. I know. I just said Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Knight. That's also like halted right now. Like they also got got all those halted. They're doing reshoots for all of them, mm-hmm. and like. I want to see Morbius. I want to see Moon Knight. I definitely want Morbius? to see Doctor Strange. Any called Morbius? Potato, potato. However you want. No, to... because Morbius is a character from Loki. I was trying to tell people <laughs> needs all to separate that. Okay. And uh, I want to see all these things, but I gotta ask you. Like you're big in the film, also. Like I'm surprised mm-hmm. your, name, your name isn't like Black Film Girl. And uh... I know, right? <laughs> so what what are your thoughts on reshoots? When 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 a company does a reshoot, like what do you what yeah. do you take away from that? Um, I get scared when they do reshoots. I get very scared because sometimes I feel like reshoots are the company stepping in when they probably shouldn't because they think they know the consumer. And it's like, you can't know us if you don't poll us. You can't know us if you don't talk to us or listen to us. Like, all we do is talk about this crap. All we do is talk about, like, you know, prime example for me is Sonic. When they first came out with them little images of Sonic, right. we were in an uproar as a community. Like, yeah. this ain't the Sonic I grew up with. This looks terrible. Blah, 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 blah. blah. You're right, though, yeah. And these people listened, went back in, halted production, was like, let's go back in and clean this up. Because we the ones that get, go give y'all money. Yeah. Right? And so I feel like when it comes to, like, DC, Warner Brothers, Marvel, Disney, all that type of stuff, they need to start listening to us when we say stuff. Filter through the filter through the BS for sure. But it's a lot of us saying the exact same thing, like, you need to do this or you need to have that. Like everybody is so excited about a fantastic four film. We literally cast Sue Storm and Marie Richards. We was like, we want Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. <laughs> literally cast them. Right? Obviously, we're telling you that if you make a fantastic four film with these two people, we will go watch it. That's literally what we were telling you. And I understand it. I don't think it's that easy, but also I feel like you need to try. What right? about, the, to what about Keanu Reeves and John Constantine? Like, you know, that, that hasn't happened. And like, he's been listen, talking about that. I need, I need that to happen. Listen. Mm. listen. So I have to take a moment. I have to take a moment of silence. Take your time. Keanu take your time. Hold on. Okay. Um, <laughs> I love, Constantine is like one of my favorite movies. Like yeah. one of my favorite. I'll probably put that in my top 10 somewhere. Completely all um, like the source material, but like it works, man. It worked well. But my but here's my thing. I I don't. I love when stuff be off the source material because if I wanted to see the source material, I go to the source material. Yeah. That's how I felt about the movie Wanted. Like uh, that's also not a part of the source material, but it mm-hmm. worked out well for a film. Yeah. Not right. Really, yeah. And so and because I feel like some stuff really can't always translate to like you know book or comic to film or television sometimes it's hard to like translate that stuff right. but, and that's why i think i'm a fan of the mcu because they like we have this blueprint and we could follow it to a t but then we can also take little bits and create a story around the little bits that we pull from like this blueprint and i enjoy that because if that's, i could just go read the comic 
if I want to see exactly how Infinity War happened, exactly how Endgame happened, you know what I mean? And the goal, then the goal is back to what you were saying before, like you know, if like if you haven't read the comic book already, you're not going to. So why not just do something different with this? Right. Movie? Yeah, I get that. You know, and so I'm I'm a big fan of that. So I, I so when they when so when they talk about like reshoots and stuff, I automatically assume it's a company button in when they don't need to. Um. Especially if they're like, we're just having reshoots, and they don't tell like, us why they have reshoots. You made a theory as to why we're getting a reshoot with Moon Knight. You said because like they're probably throwing Morbius inside of it. That's what you suggested, yeah. right? Or like with that, mm-hmm. with Morbius, they're going to put Andrew Garfield Spider Man into that film. Well, yeah, they said that too. And it, but here's my thing too, right? If you didn't, I feel like if you didn't start that, like if you didn't have that as a plan, because I've seen videos where people have said that like they've they've proven that. They, they well, they tried to prove that Morbius takes Has place in already, Andrew Garfield's universe, right, like but it don't make lot. sense because we got Adrian Toomes, so that was directly connected to Tom Holland's universe, like are you like the MCU universe? Because Michael Keaton's in it, you know, his character is in it, and he uh, seems to have, he seems to be playing the exact same character, not like a different version or anything like that, but. And if he is, then like I'm good. But I don't don't take the success of Spider Man No Way Home and then change everything you're doing because you were like, Oh, I didn't know this is gonna be this big, so now let's try to figure out how we can keep this I, I will say uh, I haven't seen a contract, but I do think this is this is what Sony had planned all along. This is why they leased so? out like Spider Man for as long as they did to Marvel mm-hmm. is because they wanted to do this. And like I feel like uh, that's why they started that whole that that uh, Sony Pictures uh, movies with with Marvel Universe characters. I think that's why mm-hmm. they made that whole thing is because they knew that like that was taking off like it was after the first movie. And they were gonna build off of that as they got to I this mean, point. I mean, my thing is just build off of it because if you have the character and the character's making you money, why wouldn't you build off of it? Like because to me, that's just smart. That's Black just Widow. smart business, and right? Still, that's just they're still getting that married that. That, uh, yeah, we Parker are. Show. That made yeah, away. so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I feel like if they're going to add Andrew Garfield into Morbius, which I feel like they're not, but if that's what they're doing, I feel like I feel like that part wasn't part of the plan. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that wasn't part of what they had set out to do. I feel like they are jumping on the bandwagon of No Way Home, and they're like, okay, we need to add some stuff in this. To keep this going, I don't want that because if that's not what you initially planned, it's it might not work. I get that you saying you don't want that, but you do keep your ear to the ground. Do you think other fans will want that? I think they do. I think they do I, because honestly, if I'm being honest, watching No Way Home to for me, for me, Tom Holland is my Peter Parker. I'm sorry to everybody. I, I listen. I grew up with the Tobys. I grew up with the Toby films. I really did. I grew up with Toby films. I will say Toby's films remind me of comic book like yeah. more than anybody else's does. Yeah. Like I watch, I rewatched the first one recently and was like, why am I feeling like I'm watching a comic book like come to life? Like literally watch a comic book come to life. And so that version will always be appreciated for that. But for me, Tom Holland is young enough, athletic enough. He has the awkwardness. Every now and again, he say something cool, and you like, okay, P. And then he'll trip and fall, and you like, dang, P. Like, so <laughs> I like, I feel like Tom Holland's Peter Parker is a nice amalgamation of Toby's and Andrew, like come together, because because Andrew was just too swaggy, and I was just like, <laughs> you too swaggy, bro. He, said he was too cool to be Peter's. He was too cool. I was like. <laughs> Bruh, like I would hang out with you. That's how that's how Peter Parker. You feel me? I was like, what's yeah. happening here? I was like, you can't be because my whole thing was this: you can't be that attractive, that swaggy, and that smart. Like that's too much. Mm-hmm. That's too much. Something has to fall. And then you will get superpowers on top of that. Like Tony no. Stark? No, no, no. You know what I mean? Like, no. but even that Tony Stark, an alcoholic, so he has a vice somewhere. I mean, so, you know what you I mean? Know. Yeah. So it's one of those things. So like, um, like I'm a. I don't, <laughs> You know, I'm a fan of it all, but I feel like No Way Home, Andrew Garfield was the breakout star. Like, it's a great film to me. I I I saw it like three, four times. Like, I'm a big fan of it. I see something new every time I watch it. But to me, I feel like people are on this Andrew Garfield, he needs another Spider-Man or he needs to be this or those kind of stuff. 
because because of his performance in No Way Home. But when Spider Man, when Amazing Spider Man Two came out, people was like doo doing all like, over his no name. More. Like we're done. Like no exactly. more. Exactly. So I feel like he redeemed himself in this third movie, yeah. in this in this movie, so much that people were like, I want to see this version. And, but then to me, that just showed us that they directed him wrong in his first two movies. I think a lot of people just didn't see the second movie, and that's me talking though. I mean, people. A lot of people. Didn't, a lot of people liked the first one. A thousand people. A thousand times. A thousand people didn't like the second one. But that's my thing, though, right? Like you didn't like him. You're like, well, he do this. And that ain't better, man. And the same people that make that noise are the same people. Like, yo, he need a third movie, bro. Like he. Like now you on the bandwagon. This is like you lying. And I feel like, like, like that, that's why a lot of folks, I'm not saying you're so, but I think that's why a lot of folks get that way when it comes like to, to hopping on something. Like what we talked about before when it comes to Batwoman, like it's already gone mm-hmm. too far that the hype train is going. And I don't want to be one of those folks who hop on a bandwagon when I said like, you know, I wasn't going to watch this because I didn't right. like him for X, Y, and Z reason. Now like it's all different. And now I want to hop in. Like, no, I like, I mm-hmm. get like why most people wouldn't want to jump on a bandwagon after that. But like, right. hey. But sometimes, man, if something's good, like just uh, we gotta just let it be good. And I think no, like, I get that. I'm a, I'm good. a, I'm a fan of letting stuff be good. If people are enjoying Bad Woman, I hope it goes for a whole bunch of seasons. Who knows? I might be chilling at the house one day. It's on Netflix. I might just binge watch the whole joint and be like, "Yo, I missed out on, you know, them first That's couple right. seasons, probably trash. But once, once you know, old girl came in, I'm like, boy, this guy's so like, good." It, it, you know. For me personally, like, I thought it was pretty good. I thought I sort of tell off towards the end of the, of the season with Teresia, but uh, I gotta watch the new season. I gotta see what happened with Luke. I gotta see how he turns into uh, Batwing. Batwing. It's gonna be interesting mm-hmm. like to bring that character from the comic books into the TV show. If they get Duke on top of it next, if Duke yeah. Thomas shows That's... up, whoo, bro. Well, just, well, here's the thing. Like, like I said, I might have a day where Excuse me, I don't have to work or do something or whatever, which I don't think I'm, I'm not seeing that day ever popping up. Um, or making some type of content or doing something like this, which I love yeah. all this. Like, don't get you me, you, you, except for the except for person. the work. Okay, don't like it. Don't care for the work, <laughs> but love this. Love the love making TikToks and uh, IG reels and taking pictures and trying to do paints. I love all that. Let's yeah? switch, let's switch it up and talk about that then. Like you. Uh... From what I've been seeing, you've been doing like the Instagram, the, uh, the TikTok, and those things for about a year now, and you've only getting better and better with putting your content out there. Recently, you just talked about uh, No Way Home and Spider Man, mm-hmm. and uh, like that's mostly what what you do with your videos. Like you sometimes like do like some silly stuff with makeup. You also have some fun like with stuff that's running your home. But like uh, your main thing is talking about film, TV shows. Like yeah. what what got you like into talking primarily about that? Uh, because nobody listens to me and my family when I talk about it, so I figured. <laughs> Why don't I just put it out to the world? I was like, maybe it's other people that will listen to my series because uh, when I talk, because like I made my mom and my brother into Marvel people. Nice. I mean, DC would like, be better, but that's cool. Right on. I made them into Marvel people. Um, yeah, you said that. My, I don't know how I'm gonna make. I don't know if I can. My brother's not a big fan of DC because of the disjointedness of dc so uh um, <laughs> i don't and i think and i really think that dc might be too dark for my mom Ooh. um so i just keep her on the marvel side of things it's just dark even enough. Shazam, a, it's a pretty dark movie but yeah. you know so yeah. i don't think i don't i don't think that you know she's a christian woman so i uh, yeah, keep her so fact, like, i keep her in a certain you know alert, certain through line <laughs> Having on like your mama bandy as a kid may not be the best option for a Christian. Yeah, no, <laughs> I just, like just won't take her there, huh? I won't you, like, take her there. Like interact with her, like, ugh, that yeah, was Yeah, so oh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it Marvel, <laughs> you know? No. I can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, we just gonna keep it Marvel for a little girl. That's funny. Um, <laughs> but I turned them into Marvel people because they were like, "Where are you going at ten o'clock in the morning? Going to see a Marvel film." Um, and I'd be like, you want to go? And then, you know, my mom's a big Iron Man fan. So she's like, you know, that's like her thing. Uh, I get my brother to My brother like watches like new rock star and he gets all the behind it. Like he's all into it now. I'm just like, oh, my baby. I'm so proud <laughs> of you guys. Um, but nobody, like when I was like, I was trying, like my brother would say this. I've been talking about this stuff before social media existed. Right. I've been doing this stuff. If If social media existed when we were like, you know around these kids age now 
I'm yeah. probably a billionaire, a yeah. billionaire by now because of all the stuff that came out and we could have talked about and things like, you know, all the series I had with different TV shows, stuff like that. So I've been talking about this a lot. It's just now I have a somewhere to voice it and, and, and have commentary and people come back and forth and, and give me an idea and things like that. Like I've been doing this like my whole life and, you know, my mom's eyes glossed back when I talked to her about some stuff. So I was just like, maybe I should stop talking to her about it. Because she would be like, you're so excited about this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but I need somebody to listen. <laughs> it ain't you. <laughs> it ain't you, you know, listen. And then the only time she listens is when she has like questions, you know, like she'll come out her room and she'll be like, so Hawkeye, right? Hawkeye, is his wife a superhero? No, ma'am, she is not. Okay, thank you. And she'll go back in her room and like go back well, and watch the stuff. The show, and apparently. <laughs> only DC stuff she watches is the DC that's on CW. And she like she watches Star Girl, uh, she watches The Flash. Yeah. She used to watch DC Legends, but she was like, it got too weird for her. She was like, It got convoluted. Her. Yeah. Honestly, for me, the weirder it got, the better. I was like, guys. You know what? That's what a lot of people say. Yeah. The weirder it got, the I better. Feel like, because I feel like those first couple of seasons, they had like an idea of what they wanted to do. And then the moment they made Sarah the lead, and then it yeah. started getting weirder and they go in different times. I was like, this is it. where you need to be. This mm-hmm. is your stride. Because you need to be different from all the other ones because of the amalgamation of people that's on your team. And right? The, the you need to be different. The beauty yeah. of it is like, uh, people say, a, a lot of folks say that, uh, even though I made a post about it, that, that Spider-Man No Way Home is the first multiverse movie to ever be made. But Live te- action. Te- technically, now is Batman nineteen eighty nine because that's also connected to the, the DC animated yeah. universe, and will soon be connected to like the Flash movies. And you also have like Superman Returns, that's also connected to that universe, which is also mm-hmm. connected to Batman eighty nine and like the Flashpoint movie also. So like all of this connected, and thanks to like like the TV show, thanks to like the new movies that are coming out mm-hmm. uh, here in a couple of years, like like that that's also has like its own state to claim and. I got a question inside of here. Like the question is the fact that Marvel is doing jokes like Flashpoint and uh, No Way Home, and like you see DC putting all these multiverse characters, like in not only their animated but also their television and mm. their movie universe. Like, do you like the rivalry that they're doing right now? Like, like it's it's kind of like the old uh, Silver Age of Marvel DC. Yeah, rivalry. are you? Are you I I like the rivalry because I don't feel like it's a rivalry. Right, that's why I like it. I like it because I feel like they're doing this strategically on purpose. So people be like, ooh, they took a shot at DC. Ooh, right. they took a shot at Marvel. And now y'all invested in whatever we put out next to see <laughs> if we're going to hit the other one with something else. And if I'm going to just throw out a theory, I feel like they might be playing the long game. And like, this might be like a Marvel versus DC thing in the future. We're like, because we're already breaking the multiverse. Right. So who's to say that DC ain't in that multiverse? And it's already and we might that, not. That and we DC know that Deadpool like has like crossed over and done things, and right. we have Deadpool in our universe now. So you know what I mean? Like I feel like they're playing the long game, and we gonna blink, and it's gonna be Deadpool um, yeah, trying universe. to punch, trying to punch Superman in the face. <laughs> and and him hand. get yeah. you know, and breaks his hand, or he gets wrecked, <laughs> and then his body just coming back and like you know what I mean like and somehow the Fantastic Four come over everything like I feel like it's gonna I feel like they're gonna cross and I don't have a problem with that so I think I think because to me cause I'm gonna put it in like you know the culture terms I guess or whatever it's like to me it was like when Drake and Chris Brown teamed up I was like finally where y'all been this entire time like you famous and you famous and y'all both we both Everybody likes y'all like separately and like so. Why haven't y'all been together? Because of Rihanna? Nah, just just oh, go that's ahead. Right. And... They they both had a relationship with her, didn't they? Yeah, yeah I was right. like, just go ahead. I'm like, she cool with both of y'all. She living her life, be free. Yeah, so like, I felt like, like them, yeah. you know, so I felt like when they came together and made that song, it was a very good song, right? You could dance to it, you could move to it, and I feel like Marvel and DC could do the same thing. You know, Come it, it together. shows that, that that this thing can work with Sony. And like they they shown yeah. that, so like they they can work with without a conference. Like maybe that will may not be the future. If I oh you mean if, Marvel can work with Sony? Yeah, well you know yeah. I, I will forever call Marvel Disney because that's what they are. So but no. Oh, I thought you said DC. I thought you said DC. Disney. That's what I thought you said. Yeah, Disney Disney, Disney. Disney works with Sony pretty well, and uh, 
Like maybe they can work with Warner Brothers in the future. Like maybe. Like, maybe. Uh, I hope. But so. also, I feel like you know, whoever running Warner Brothers needs to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Because I feel like one of the best things Warner Brothers did was have the DCAU and have it have like a connected shared universe, right? It's literally the MCU but animated. That's yeah. literally what it is. And we talked and, about this before. And when she yeah, says DCAU, really she, good. Means, she means the new 52 animated films. They're yes, all connected the, from a Flashpoint yes, animated, to Justin The animated Dark. universe. Yes. The animated universe. Not, not the like, I'm a, uh Animated universe. So I think, I think, to me, those are a solid set of films. I think I own like all of them, and if not, I have a streaming system that I can find them all if I need to. Like it's HBO I, Max is uh, where I, I go just through. got finished watching Batman: Bad Blood with with a friend of mine because with, like uh, I told you, I was, that has Batwing and Batwoman, yeah, yeah. And I was I was telling um I was like I was showing it to my friend because I told you we were going through the movies, and this is the next one on our journey throughout the <laughs> the animated DC animated universe. So and then. You know, after Justice League Apocalypse, they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna be done for a while." I was like, "This is the best thing y'all got going, like, because Wonder Woman '84 wasn't it." So what we, you want, you're one of those who don't like '84. Gotcha. It was, tra- it, was uh, it was terrible. Disagree. I, it I was thought, terrible. I thought it was completely wholesome. I thought like uh, Pedro Pascal like did like, a great job with Master of Lord of the. Listen, pick out you can pick out certain things that are very good about it. But as a whole, the story really doesn't make sense. They jump, they they change pot little. I'm gonna get into it with you. They change right, let's do they it. change rules all the time. They said that the they said that the dream song could only grant you one wish. He granted Barbara two wishes. There was I was like, how is that possible? How are you breaking the rules of the dream song? Well, exactly. But okay. Second wish was to be an apex predator. What was the first wish? She wanted to be like Diana. How you get two wishes? I guess that's a good question. I'm like, how you get two wishes? That's not that's not what that's not what we what, what we specify. Also, her them teeing up her wearing that outfit. I was like, whatever, it was cool. But I was like, you wore it for two seconds and then dropped the wings and then I was just like, and then you say it's indestructible. You say it's indestructible. But she clawed the mess out of that and broke that whole little outfit. How? If it's they, indestructible. They should, they should have explained the god more. Like they should have like gone back in time and talked about like where that where that hey, thing all came from. But that's what I'm saying. It was I yeah. felt like it was rushed. You had it 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 fell into the trope for me of one too many villains. The, you could have teed you could have no. teed up Barbara, but she didn't physically have to show up like because her power As, was godly. Like, she got her power, like, from, like, a, a dark god she, who gave her a power. Her, they didn't talk about that. Inside right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then and then it's like, and then I'm telling something, too, let's get to the, the real part of it that really messed me up. The fact that she pretty much raped the whole dude. Like, like this, this dream stone is powerful enough to turn somebody into an apex predator, but it can't physically bring somebody back from the dead. He has to inhabit the body of a stranger. No, but she could true. somehow see him yeah. when you when you pull when you like, when you realize like that what was going on like it was it was uh, for her being like as big of a feminist as she is it was very unsettling yeah and again i i understand like okay like my whole thing is that she lived like she 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 easily like maybe like a thousand by the time we finished like wonder woman like the first one or something like that so it's possible that she might be like you know a thousand thirty five or something about it you know what I'm something like that by the time we get to this her whole life, she never had a man. Her whole life, she was on justice and knowledge. My sister, she meet a dude once, kissed him once, never slept with him. It changed her entire life. She went from being like this upstanding feminist to being this wallowing mess in 84 that I was just like, this does not look like the Diana that didn't want to wear a dress because she really couldn't kick and flip and do things in it. Like To me, they changed her character so so much in a bad way I and then all these that. other plot totally points yeah all these other plot points in the film itself i was like this is it i would have taken a movie where she was a child and she was training i would have took a full movie of that 
I've said that multiple times. They're trying to make a TV show about that, about like Demascara and just Demascara. I but, would love a Demascara uh, TV series, but not focus on Diana. Focus on all her other sisters, and maybe have like, uh, oh, what's that sister name? It's the Nubia. sister that like. I'll take Nubia for sure because we need more black sisters up in here. Y'all but um, I would just I would just want them to focus on other sisters. Right. You can easily make a. You, I feel like you can do like Wonder Woman bloodline, but like not have Wonder Woman in it, like a version, like, like a version, type of version of that because like they Wonder touched Woman on like they touched on like her different, characters. yeah, like like her different sisters and then I was like, this is I like them, like give me more. Yeah. And then there and then the race in Themyscira is so broad, so you can have every ethnicity, every color, every version of every type of woman ever created in the world in this film, right? You don't have to focus on the lighter version. You'd be like in Kanto the entire time, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, in Kanto for me was a joy because I literally was like, look at these dark-skinned, beautiful people. It's a spectrum of people in there. Yeah. It was, the color spectrum in that was amazing. I was like, I've seen people, i got family that look like that. i got family on, that. On all spectrums, yeah. All spectrums. Even, even if you just count in the family, just like take the Madrigal family, but if you go outside that family, it's a wide range of colors. It was beautiful. So I was, I would, I would want that. You know, I would want that. But one of them made it for was trash. Two was trash. I still disagree. But uh, I, I like, I like that's your, cool. I like your complaints, cool. but I, I feel, I still disagree with you completely. Uh, it was trash. Like I said, it has great moments. The action was great. Uh, I don't like that they changed her outfit because I was like 1984. But then she goes back to the original stuff and she shows up in 2016. I don't think it. I don't think it was that. It was that off putting. Like you know, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I, I didn't think it was. It was that off. I didn't think it was like you know. I was like, it's very bright. Um, but also, but also, it's also true. It's just like, okay, you tell us that she's a god in the first one, and she's part god. Okay, that is part of her origin story. Her origin story has changed so much. <laughs> Like, so like okay she part god that's cool that's cool Aries is her brother that's cool even though in the other one he was her daddy but you know whatever <laughs> cool whatever it's around, yeah. you know but these guys we know the Olympian gods they some sluts so it's fine you do what you do um you do what you do but I felt like all of a sudden she's like I've been practicing turning stuff invisible who taught you this yeah. you can't go back home so you just like it's I felt like the pacing and the development of the story, like all of a sudden she could ride lightning. Since when? <laughs> like somebody somebody explained this to me. Like, I just felt like it was y'all was like, we about to make her so cool, but you forgot to show us how along the way, right? We were just supposed to like suspend disbelief and be like, Yeah, hey, she can do all this stuff. She wanted a woman, she can do whatever. But like, just no, it's a story. Yeah. Like she still knew literally to being like Wonder Woman like you know Diana like living that dual personality like this stuff is still the fact that she can move so easily within this in this world that she had just popped into essentially and I and I, and I just felt like one instance with these people shouldn't you I feel like it's to me it's a Scarlet Witch effect right like how she was like 16 started off with an accent by the time we get to Civil War she that accent gone she looked like she 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 35 like she is like, same with storm like the accent, yeah. you know what i mean like the accent same thing with storm like holly bear i was oh i was hot about that i was like what just couldn't do an african i was like that i was like the accent in the first one was trash but it was still an accent and then i was like by the time they got to the second one holly was like um <clears throat> so we need to go chart this jet i'm like girl just that's not storm what are we doing <laughs> Uh, let me let me ask you about your podcast. Cause you got uh, you got two podcasts that are sitting inside your link tree. It's uh, the Real Study Podcast and a Full Cup with Lou yeah. and Lon. And I have like my own podcast too, but yeah. Oh, you have, you have a, your own podcast as well. Mm-hmm. Is it on? Is it on like a podcast network or is it on? Your yeah, Twitch? it's 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 on Anchor and it's okay. on Apple. It's on Google. You know, I haven't done it in a while because I was like. I started branching off into like other things and I was like I started focusing on other people's projects more than I was focusing on my own projects and so like I kind of like you know dropped my podcast aside 
But um, I have a few episodes up there. I have like I have some cross episodes with the with the other podcasts I used to be in, which we don't really do that anymore. But but yeah, I have a podcast. And again, I was just talking about TV shows. I was talking about stuff I don't like. I was talking about how you know, Frozen was the first Frozen was kind of trash. You know, um, you know, like you know, making you know, looking a little deeper. I think my thing is I look a little deeper into films than most people. I think you know, I kind of like try to dissect them and try to find like the human like the humanity in it I guess underneath underneath the surface instead of staying on top of the surface so like that's pretty much my podcast was I was like really getting in deep talking about different movies that I liked and like if I saw a new movie that I tried out I was like this is this is great you should try it out too or recommendations things like that um the is real it, study is it called is, a, is it called black girl marvel it's called black girl marvel yeah. okay awesome branding is everything it's called, <laughs> it's called black girl marvel You're not wrong. um but you know the episode those are like title different you know episode one two and different titles and everything like that so you'll see what you're getting into way before you even you know touch an episode um the other podcast i'm in is uh the real study uh which i'm with uh, three other guys um and we do we do the same thing that i usually do on my own like we talk about we watch like three movies and then we talk, we come on the podcast, we, we stream on Twitch, The Real Studies on Twitch, and then okay. we talk about movies, we talk about movies, uh, TV show, um, and we just go back and forth, banter, we rate them, we have a rating system, we have, a, a, our system is twofold, so it's like, on a scale of one to ten, how did you like the film, and one to ten is your own barometer, right, like, if I think Thor, The Dark World is a ten, you might think it's a five, we don't have the same barometer, and that's okay. Like, we don't, like, judge each other's barometer. Even though we might make faces if you say something, we'll be like, ooh, you thought that was great? Okay. Um, and then we will say, like, what would your, if your 12-year-old saw this, 12-year-old self saw this, what would they rate it? That's cool, watching. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sometimes yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah. So, um, okay. <laughs> because, because some movies we, we, we rate came out when we were 12 or like <laughs> like oh. when we were around that age so you kind of kind of go back and be like what was I doing when I watched the movie or how did I feel when I watched huh. the movie it really yeah. takes you back yeah it really does and um I, I do a full cup with my friend Lucia she uh we're a little bit on hiatus right now because again we both do a lot like she does paints and you know all this kind of stuff and <laughs> she's way more popular than me um Love her pieces, a little jealous, but she's way more popular than me. Um, we do a thing called a full cup where um, we talk about everything, like whatever is popping in the ether on on social media. Talk about movies, TV shows. We might dip into like musicians and makeup and things like that. Like it's pretty much a cross blend of the things I like and the things she likes. Okay, I get yeah. that. So yeah. Well, it seems like, you know, you got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you're on all platforms, Black Girl Marvel, Twitter, Instagram, um, Twitch, TikTok, and Discord. Twitch, Discord, everything, yep. You're in all of it. Uh, what projects should we be looking out for from you in the future? Um, I am working on beefing up my YouTube presence again. Um, I was really enjoying doing my reaction. Which I was getting into a doing, stride. Doing which we're going to be doing, yes. Pretty yes. Soon, so, yeah. Um, so I was really getting into a stride with that, especially with the editing and not getting blocked on YouTube. I was really finding my my way. It's uh, it's a pain like that, not having it people is. know what you do, man. Um, so I'm hope I have a Patreon, but it's not really doing anything because I'm trying to figure out how to. Because I I hate that you have to have like a third party uploader, I guess or whatever. Not a fan. And I just can't I can't just upload directly to the system, so it's really preventing me from like using it, even though it seems like it's a really good platform um i'm thinking about just maybe transitioning to twitch and just you know maybe like i play video games so i play video games on twitch but i was thinking maybe i, I could just have like conversations as well and just have that you know it, it automatically records and it could just be on my be on my channel i could probably download that transition that to like youtube if I, you know well, type, type of thing if i can um but yeah so i'm trying to beef up my uh so i'm trying to i have tv shows that like wandavision loki things like that that i have just raw footage sitting in the ether that I need edited to, you know what I'm saying, put back on my YouTube. Like, I started, I might have, like, four episodes, four or five episodes of WandaVision on my YouTube page, and then, like, I lost my editing stuff. So so it's similar to my episodes. Yeah. Like, uh, would you just watch the show and you talk about it as you watch it? Yep. Oh, right on. Do you ever do reviews yeah, just, yeah, about just, shows, too? Yeah, yeah, just full-on, just full-on reactions, and, like, they're cut for time, you know? 
trying to get to the key point. So it was just me sitting there with like a little box in the corner, <laughs> we both watching, you know, a little watermark over it so I don't get plugged. And uh, <laughs> and we just watch, we watch together and we have a good time. And I, and I commentate on it. I've gotten better though. I used to be very quiet and I was like, oh, I got to talk to y'all tell y'all how I'm feeling about stuff. You don't seem like you have got a problem with that right now. You do not seem like that is a problem for you. I've gotten better. <laughs> I've gotten better. I've grown. I'm, this is growth. I've this grown. Is, this is growth. <laughs> yeah, I've grown. Um, well, yeah. I asked this question to everyone who's, uh, who's on the show, and uh, you are no exception to the rules, but uh, you've been doing this for almost a year, a year and then some, and you've got yeah. a, a good amount of followers, a good batch of people who love your content. What would you want to say to all those people who've been up with you this entire time? Well, for the people that's been with me, because I've, I will say I've been doing this for like maybe a couple of years. Oh, really? But only, but only gotten very serious in like this past year because of like COVID and stuff. So, um, for the people that's been with me from the beginning when I was like confused and uh, trying to figure stuff out, I really thank y'all for sticking with me. I thank y'all for commenting. I thank y'all for like it i thank y'all for the suggestions because people have given me suggestions i don't take everything you know no offense <laughs> but i do listen you know to people i do listen and um try to like just take in what people say to me or what they seem they, they are interested in me but you know to the people that listen to my podcast and like that grew ex- exponentially as i've kept you know putting out stuff that felt great to know that like even if my family don't want to listen to my ranting somebody does <laughs> and so uh that's that's always a joy so I just I mean it's just a big old thank you and I hope that like you know more people um you know join me on TikTok join me on Instagram and right on. I'm a, I'm trying to do more stuff like go live so we can like all chat in real time and you know, come play video games with me on Twitch. Like, I'm always game for people to come beat me up in, like, Mortal Kombat 11 or Injustice 2 because, you know, I'm kind of trash, but I'm, but I'm a quick learner. You know, I'm quick, quick learner. So, yeah. Just you're a good big thing. You're man. I dig it. You're, good, you're definitely <laughs> good old. You just, just go with the flow. Like, you know what? Quick learner. I do. Let me, let me beat you up I someday. Do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I love this, man. I love, I've always been a fan of film. I've always, like, since I was a child, like, I used to stay up, like, film and television. I would be dead at school because, you know, I grew up in a time where I grew up, that I hate being 35 <laughs> and being like, I grew up during a time when, because 35, <laughs> that's, you, what, younger. you know, I'll tell you what, 10, <laughs> yeah, young blood, <laughs> like, you just, like, it's, like, I, I really hate saying that, but it's, like, I'm only 35 and technology has changed and grown yeah. exponentially in three decades. The three decades that I've been yeah. lying, you know, telling how my mom feel about something, you know, she's oh, been lying she's way longer than me. So it's like, back then, right? Jeez. you know what I mean? So it's one of those things where it's like, I remember where I couldn't, we didn't have DVR. Then I remember when we got DVR, but then I remember when I used to have to take um, stuff on like VHS DVR tape. This. And like, oh, like, VHS, even further back. Wow. VHS, like, I figured out how to record, like how to wipe over stuff on VHS, or like if I wanted to, Could if I wanted to, black bar. you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah, get that get it popping. You know, <laughs> I mean, if you gotta watch it's something, probably. you set that Listen, timer and then you record that that bad boy. You you won't get you won't get the commercials. Oh, right. You had to get over it. You had to get over it. And uh, Listen, <laughs> but here's the but, 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 but that stuff started me in editing like I used to edit as a child and didn't even realize that I was editing because okay I used to watch Dawson Creek as a child and I used to uh record it as I watched it because I was like I want to watch it again Again. not real because they didn't have stuff like where you can get like a box set of things and you just had to watch reruns and hopefully you could see it somewhere so I was like I want to continue I want to see this episode again literally had seasons on VHS, like season one of Dawson's Creek, two part one and part two, like it, it was nuts. And, and the, I, the real fun part would you have to have two VCRs connected to each other, you had to record them back to back. I listen, I had one of those, <laughs> and I learned how to when you was watching it. I learned the perfect time to pause, yeah, when and then the perfect the time to get back to the recording. So like when, when I would watch it again, black. it was yeah. seamless. As so like the kids don't understand the struggle. No, they, they really don't. 
that we went through with not only like TV shows and like movies, but like music. music. I made, made a post about that a couple of days ago about that. You know? Getting, getting like all the files and downloading all the files and like putting it all together like on your, your platform. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and not even that. Go further back. Cassettes. I used to record stuff off the radio. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. I don't, I don't miss those days at all. Like at all. Your Ooh. finger can't fit in that little thing to be, tar- be no, twirling that little bad thing. music? No. Couldn't do it. Man, listen. So I, I'm i just happy to be in a time now where, yep. you know, all the stuff that I can just push play, <laughs> all the stuff is located in one central location. Best friend right here. <laughs> listen. Listen, right now, my bestie is, is my PS4. Huh? <laughs> because I can transition from watching HBO Max and if I'm tired of watching HBO Max, I want to go play a video game. There boom, you boom, go, man. There you you go. hear me? Well, and uh, I can stream the same thing too in the same moment. I said, come <laughs> on now. Huh? There's a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge. A little, little pirate you know? in you, huh? No, okay. There's a little pirate in you. Black Girl Marvel, this has been a blast. A I, hope, yeah, I hope people got to know you a little bit better. Oh, I bet. Yarg. Yarg. Yarg, <laughs> <lady. laughs> I hope people got to know you a little bit better. I know I got to know you a whole lot better. You are, you don't, you don't let up. You don't let up. You still think 84 is a bad movie, but I didn't do a good job of trying to convince you otherwise. Nowhere am I going no. to, but. Uh. No, yeah. I, I mean, but honestly, I would have loved to hear your points on why you enjoy it. Cause here's the thing, I enjoy Pedro Pascal, even though he gave me Martha vibes with his son, you know, daddy. I was just like, all right, your son knocked you out of it. Okay. He knocked you out of it before when he was calling me your help. Back then. Okay. It's fine. And like you get to see the struggle, like of uh, Diana struggling, like with the uh, with the real world issue. Like you don't really get to see that in her character. And like in the comic books of late, they've been making her more royalty, which is selfish in my eyes. Like that that's that's mm-hmm. what he creates a royalty. And like and they put that in her when she didn't want to make her decision about Steve and like the fact that she violated his body when like when like you know he was possessed by another guy. Like like that's that's the royalty selfishness that she has inside of her. And like, I thought it was shown pretty well, like, like they're seeing her like that, because she was being, like, a spoiled bratty princess at that moment, and, like, it held true to her character, and, like, she still tried to be stoic and heroic at the same time. They could have, they could have gave us more backstory with Barbara, and, like, and what that, that power was, that that gave her, like, an extra set of power on top of it. Mm-hmm. Like, I think they could have, they could have elaborated on that. It was, like, a flaw yeah. in the writing, and I'll agree with that, yeah. but, like, I, I like what Barbara did because like she didn't like Diana, like uh, after she got that power, like she became exactly like Diana. She became selfish. She became like kind of, kind of snobbish, kind of royalty like, and like she got exactly what she wished. I for feel like she took her. the bad traits of Diana. Yeah. I think that's the rub. I think that's the rub of the of the dream tone, right? Mm-hmm. Is that it's like a genie. It'll give you your wish, but it's skewed in a way, yeah. right? It doesn't give it to you in the way that you expect it to give it to you. So you want it to be like Diana. Okay, but you got the bad side of her. You got her strength and everything, her mm-hmm. power, but you got the bad side of her as well. I, and like, I, I think I think it was played off well. Like, uh, it was a little hokey, but like, that is what DC is doing right now, much like Marvel. And But see, like, I don't want, but see, but that's where I think DC always gets it wrong, or Warner Brothers, or however. Instead of competing, because like I was, I had a conversation with my friend Lucia about this. I was like, Marvel has their like niche. They figured it out. They figured out their formula. They figured out what works for them. Now they're starting to trickle in some new stuff and it's making waves and that's still good press in a way. You know what I'm saying? DC has the most recognizable trio of all time. The Trinity, right. Right? They have the most recognizable Trinity of all time. You really don't know Marvel characters. If they not X Men and Fantastic Four, nobody was checking for Iron Man. Really nobody right. was really checking for like you know there are Hulk fans out here. Like no offense, you no know, all the Hulk fans. Because yeah. my friends will get mad at me if I say something about the Hulk, and I you know love you, but like but nobody was really checking for like Hawkeye, Black Widow. Not really. You know what I mean? Even like Captain America and Thor to a certain point. Like nobody really like focus. Like you didn't know them. Like you knew the moment somebody say Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. You, you know exactly who you're talking about. You know exactly yeah. who they're talking about. So DC could have capitalized I, I think I get what you're on saying. these three. Yeah. They got right? Instead of it. trying to try to be like, okay, well, Marvel doing this and right. they doing little jokes. And so their movie was like really bright and then and they had like modern music in it. They got Instead of doing it. that, yeah. DC is dark for a reason. Marvel ain't dark. 
right? And that's sometimes where people get like left out of Marvel because they like it ain't talking about real world issues and you not that, really and like and when you read a combo, that's what you get from Marvel. You kind of get the opposite right, of DC. right? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? So like DC should have lead should have like lit like just went into like their dark bag. I agree with that. With their Trinity instead of trying to be like Marvel, and I was like the moment they tried to be like Marvel, I was like y'all messed up exponentially that's why i disagree like I, I feel like they had to cater to kids and the families to get like them to go to the movie theaters together and that's I feel like why they, they had to do that like dude, if they want to make those billions like marvel's doing who's doing the same i thing, get it but like, i really feel like do it. i really feel like they didn't because deadpool was rated r and it was one of the best it was one of the highest grossing movies in 2016 <laughs> Yeah, that that is that is one out of many of our rated superhero films. Like Hellboy did not do as well. Uh, what was the other mm-hmm. R rated films that came out around that time? There was sort of like Kick Ass was like all right in the movie theaters. The sequel was not. No, so the good. first one. But here's but but that's my thing though, right? First movie still did great, right? But yeah. to me, I felt like they never really wanted. I never. They didn't even think about having a second one. They was like, I got this first one. And this is like I got this feeling. It's, it's a solid little joint. It just lives on. But propaganda and money, you like, like you got to give me a second one, and it was kind of trash. But the beauty, was, the beauty of like of these of, of Marvel is they get all these PD thirteen films, pull them all out right next to each other, like they're all like like lovable, cute family movies. Like of course, other people don't want to copy it. It's no different like when when Spider Man movie comes out, every cosplayer dressed like Spider Man, every artist is drawing Spider Man like art. Like it's mm-hmm. it's no different than that, and that's what more, what's, that's what DC got themselves inside of. But they put themselves into a box of making just that. Like I think, like what 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 I think you're trying to say is like is that uh, they should have did that, but also did like the dark stuff. Also did no, like, they should have because the, the, the because not every stuff. not every character lends not every character in DC lends the dark stuff. They, they do, do have hokey characters. They, they do, do have like fun care. Like it would be weird to have Shazam be like overly dark. Like he's not making jokes. Like that's not Shazam. Like at all. Yeah. He's a kid in the guise of this grown man. So like. He makes kid jokes and he does kid things. So like that makes sense. But you got somebody like Wonder Woman who by the time we see her is hundreds of years old. Mm-hmm. Her, her in the first movie, they made her so like bright eyed and bushy tailed and naive, you know, which to me, it, it, it worked to a certain degree, but also she's a wealth of wisdom and knowledge. I also, like, think, I also think like our introduction to her and like the first time we got to know her with two different stories and like that kind of like yeah put fans off too good when we first saw her it was in batman versus superman and she was a badass mm-hmm. with a sword then when we first got to know her it's when like she had left that mascara and like it was like a steve rogers iron out of thor kind of story that we had like, mm-hmm. like kind of like go along with like that we've seen before and, like, i always you know, say the first wonder woman was very captain america first adventure it was very much like I, I really feel mm-hmm. like I see both of those stories, like Captain America and Thor, like combined in that one mm-hmm. flick. Like no, 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 I don't blame you. They put I, them I think both, you're both together yeah. and put it inside there. And uh, that second '84 movie, like I think, like they, they were just throwing stuff to the wall to see what stuck. I still think the story yeah. was pretty solid, like except for like the, the second witch part. Like, but I'm pretty sure there's no reasoning for that. But uh, like I think the story was pretty solid. But, like, I don't know the, some stuff I just can't look past because. You know. I don't know how they was in Cairo and then they got back to the to, to New York or wherever it was and it was still light outside like that's in two different time zones, baby. I was just, I was just like I'm not understanding. Like I just like okay. All right. Well, it seems like uh, seems like we got a lot more stuff to talk about in the future. Uh, I can't yeah. wait to talk with you more about uh, about movie trailers because that's gonna yeah. be fun. Because we're gonna that's we're gonna, gonna break be fun. down. It won't be every episode, everybody, but uh, you're definitely going to find every episode on on Black Girl Marvel's YouTube page and FQ on our yeah. YouTube page also. So yeah. uh, I've already mentioned a place where everyone can find you, which is everywhere, essentially. Everywhere. Yeah. Just Google Black Girl Marvel. I popped up. Boom. Like, there you go. I right off the cuff. So yeah. she made she making a name for herself. She's doing more things when it comes to film and television. Make sure you look out for Black Girl Marvel. Tell your friends about this podcast. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe everything up to Nerd Talk Please and do. Black Girl Marvel yes. there'll be more stuff to come and until next time yes. take it easy Black Girl Marvel thank Bye. you for joining us thank you for having me this is awesome I love to, I don't get to talk nerd with a lot of people it's usually just me talking to a camera so thank you <laughs> you're very welcome until yes, next thanks. time guys you take it easy <laughs>